Hi. The story of education in the 21st century is about educators trying at every level to resolve the issues of learning, empowerment and student development. Let us have a glimpse at the traditional practice of teaching that has been going on since a long time ago. Education has long been perceived as being something that happens within four walls with a board and chalk. Such approaches to traditional education generally involves a teacher reciting the lessons one after the other in front of a classroom filled with passive students sat quietly at their places. Occasionally, they are called upon to answer a few questions, and that's usually where their daydreaming process gets interrupted. What we tend to overlook in such typical approach is that very often students do not feel engaged in learning. The development of modern technologies and ICT has changed the face of the traditional classroom setting. In this small unit, we will introduce you to a simple tool, a presentation software which can be used to support the teaching and learning process in the 21st century. It will revolutionize your ways of teaching and your students' learning experience. Click on the icon Click Me to get started. You need to click on the links to be able to navigate through the presentation. Have you ever thought about using a presentation software in your classroom, but due to your limited skills in this field, you have become a bit reluctant? Well, this course will teach you the basics of how to create slides, put content in them and make them look good. Then prepare speaker notes and handouts and get ready to present them in your classroom. Upon completion of this course, you will be able to create slides and add text, insert pictures and other content, apply a theme to the presentation's overall look, print handouts and notes, prepare to give the show. The presentation software that we will introduce is PowerPoint. PowerPoint presentations have the potential to enhance the effectiveness of classroom instruction in many ways in every subject area. These are the main points of the presentation can be emphasized and the presentation itself can be enhanced by using graphics to engage your students. Some features of the tool add flair to presentations with slide animated effects. Sounds can be added as a key for keeping the attention of students. Presentations can be used to make lessons more organized and flexible. It can also help you to build and deliver remarkable e-learning courses that can be done easily and rapidly. Finally, PowerPoint presentation is much easier for students to read throughout handouts than trying to read or copy notes that are written on a chalkboard. This is the opening screen in PowerPoint. It is called Normal View. You will start from here to create slides. PowerPoint is a multifaceted application that is being used for more than just presentations. With PowerPoint presentation, you can easily input images Templates are built in for different appearances. You can add notes pages. You can easily add media and recordings. And what's more exciting is that you can create more than a simple Word document or handwritten presentation. You need to know your working space. The slide pane is a big area in the middle. You work directly on the slide in this space. On the slide, the boxes with the dotted borders are called the placeholders. Here, you type your text. Placeholders can also contain pictures, charts, and other non-text items. On the left are small representations of the slides in your presentation, or thumbnails. The one on which you're working will be highlighted. This area is the Slides tab. You can click on the slide thumbnails here to navigate to other slides once you add them. In the bottom area is the Notes pane where you type your notes that you'll refer to while you present. There's more room for the notes than shows here. So now that you're a bit familiar with PowerPoint, you can do some formatting. The default formatting for text is a bulleted list. You can use different levels of text within bulleted list to make minor points under major points. On the ribbon, use comments in the font group to change character formatting such as font color and size. Use comments in paragraph group to change paragraph formatting, such as list formatting, degree of text indentation, and line spacing. Some presentation samples are displayed here. 
can get an idea of the potential presentation software. All these have been created using PowerPoint presentation software. Now we'll show you just how easy it is to build a short course for your students using the PowerPoint tool.
Now, to enhance learning in your classroom, you have the opportunity of inserting background sound in your presentation. In this way, this can entertain your students as well as keep them engaged in following your presentation. So let's learn how to insert a sound file of your own or a sound effect from the clip library into a slide. First, you insert the sound by using the Insert tab. You will have to choose the sound from the file. In the process of inserting the sound, you're prompted with a message asking whether you want the sound to start automatically or when you click the mouse. Choose automatically if you want the sound to start by itself. The sound will play through to the end and then stop, unless you click the slide for any reason while it is still playing, which will stop the sound. You can also set very specific options for the sound to stop at a particular moment. So this is a cool feature that could bring lots of impact in your classroom. So now it's the quiz time. 